So, welcome back and uh, this is lecture number 53 and today we will continue our discussion again on uh, differential equations of order 1 and degree 1. Uh, today's topic will be the exact differential equations. So, we will mainly uh, look for the introduction to these uh, exact differential equations and also how to find the solutions of exact differential equations. So, what are the exact differential equations? Uh, if this m and n are the functions of x and y, then this equation m dx plus n dy is called exact. Uh, if there exists a function this f uh, of x y such that the differential of this function d f x y is equal to exactly this part of the differential equation the left hand side m d x plus n d y. So, if there exists a function this f x y the function of two variable whose differential is uh, exactly this uh, m d x plus n d y. Just to recall what was the differential of the function um, f x. Uh, so, the differential we have discussed already in, in calculus of two variables. So, the differential of a function of this two variable f x was defined as uh, the partial derivative of this f with respect to x and this uh, differential of x plus del f over del y and d y this was the definition of the differential of a function of two variables which we have studied already in calculus of functions of two variables. So, that means, now what we are looking for we are looking for a function f whose uh, differential is exactly uh, this uh, differential equation or rather the left hand side of this differential equation. And, uh, uh, then we call this uh, differential equation as the exact differential because uh, this the, the differential equation is exactly the differential of some function and once we find such a function the integration is uh, is very easy because we have uh, differential of f uh, here the differential of this f is equal to 0 and then uh, the solution will be this the f is equal to constant. So, uh, the, the main job is to find this uh, function f whose differential is exactly this given differential equation. So, either uh, we find this f whose uh, differential is this or in other words as uh, we have discussed already that this differential is defined as uh, the partial derivative with respect to x and d x partial derivative with respect to y dy yeah, it must be equal to this m d x plus uh, n d y. So, there is a nice result here about the necessary and sufficient conditions for the uh, differential equation to be exact and the necessary and sufficient condition for uh, a differential equation here m d x plus uh, n d y to be uh, exact is exactly this one here that del m over del y. So, the partial derivative of this function m uh, should be equal to the partial derivative of this uh, function n here. And then uh, not only the sufficient, but this is also the necessary. So, we have both uh, ways here that this condition is also necessary for the exactness of a differential equation and this condition is also sufficient for uh, exactness of a differential equation. So, since this is a very important result, we will also go through the proof of it. So, let us assume that this condition is necessary meaning that if uh, the given differential equation is exact, then uh, del m over del y should be equal to del n over del x. So, let the equation be exact. So, we assume that the equation is exact and then we will prove uh, that uh, this condition holds. So, here if uh, this equation is exact then we will have a function f a function of two variable whose uh, differential will be uh, this m d x plus n d y as per the definition of the exact differential equation. So, if the differential equation is exact then we must have this del f over del x uh, into d x plus del f over del y into d y is equal to this given differential equation. And equating now the coefficients of this d x and d y. So, we have here this d x and the right hand side also we have d x and then we have uh, this d y here 
and we also have the dy there. So, we can equate because this must be equal now. So, del f over del x must be equal to this m and del f over del y must be equal to n. So, equating these coefficients now of del uh, d x and d y, what we are getting here the m is equal to del f over del x and uh, n is equal to del f over uh, del y. So, now we need to assume that uh, this f uh, to be continuous up to second order partial derivatives, because we want to uh, assume the equality of the second order derivatives and for that this is uh, sufficient to assume that f is continuous up to second order derivative. So, having so now, so we get this partial derivative of m with respect to y that means here also will be uh, differentiating here with respect to y. So, del 2 f over del y del x that is a partial derivative second order partial derivative of f with respect to y and with respect to x. Assuming this uh, continuity of the second order partial derivatives what we can uh, also reverse the order of this uh, differentiation meaning that this is equal to del 2 f over del x del y. So, here uh, having this del f uh, del 2 f del x del y we can uh, now from here find out that this is nothing but del n over del x because this uh, del n over del x from here del n over del x will be del 2 f over del x del y and this del 2 f del x del y. So, we have replaced here with, with this del n over del x. So, we got already this condition that del m over del y must be equal to del n over uh, del x and this is the this is the necessary condition because we have uh, started with that the given equation is exact and then we got uh, that this condition must hold. And now we will look the other way around that if this condition holds then we will show that the equation is exact and that will complete the proof of this necessary and sufficient condition. So, here we take now that the given condition is sufficient meaning that we assume that we have this condition or this condition holds and then we will show that uh, this m d x plus n d y is exact. So, to show that this is exact we have to basically get a function f whose uh, differential is exactly this m d x plus n d y. So, that means we need to find a function here f x y such that this uh, differential of this function is equal to m d x plus n d y. So, for the construction of this such a function, so this is a little theoretical now. So, we will uh, take a function this g x y as the integral, the so partial integral of this m d x. So, this is the construction process of this uh, function f. So, here we take this function g. Uh, as the integral of this m the given m here such that. So, what this integral means here that the derivative of this uh, partial derivative of this g with respect to x is m because we have just the integral here with respect to x and we uh, take the differentiation here. So, the partial derivative of g with respect to x from this relation itself we will get this m. So, having such a g now what we uh, will show first before we exactly construct this f whose differential is m d x plus n d y, we will show that this function here n minus del g over del y. So, n is the given uh, function here in the differential equation and minus this constructed function and its uh, derivative with respect to y. And if we take this difference here, this function is a function of y alone. This we want to show now before the construction of the function f. So, to show this meaning we have to just get the partial derivative with respect to x and if it comes to be 0 that means, uh, this is free from uh, x and it is a function of y alone. So, these are the given now that g is integral of m del g over del x is m and we want to consider that this partial derivative of this function n minus del g over del y is 0 that we will show now and that will uh, tell us that this is a function of y alone there is no x term in this n minus del g over del y because it is partial derivative if we can show to 0. 
So, here now the this is partial derivative of n with respect to x and we have the second order derivative of g with respect to x and with respect to y. So, assuming again this uh, equality of the second order mixed derivatives. So, we uh, now replace this with del y over del x and here we will take del over del y and del g over del x now. So, we just rewrite this in this form del n over del x and here del over del y uh, of this del g over del x and this del g over del x is given as m here by construction. So, this is nothing but, uh, but m. So, this is del n over del x and minus this del m over del y. This is the given condition, this is what we have assumed that uh, this condition holds and we will show that the equation is uh, an exact differential equation. So, here this was the condition that del n over del x is equal to del m over del y. So, with that condition we have seen now if this condition holds then this n minus del g over del y will be the function of y alone there will be no x uh, in this function n minus del g over del y. So, with uh, this now we can construct now this f and uh, the f is nothing but the g here which we have uh, constructed as the integral of this m. So, this g plus uh, this uh, function here n minus del g over del y which is a function of y alone and we are integrating here with respect to y. So, what we will prove now that this f actually uh, solves the purpose meaning the differential of this f is nothing but the m dx plus n dy. So, this we will uh, show now in next slide. Okay, so, here so we will show that this del f is m dx plus n dy. So, this is our f and if we take the differential of this f, so del f. So, if we consider here this del f is del g plus the del of this function here which is a function of y. And now as per the definition this del g here del g will be a partial derivative of g with respect to x and partial derivative of g with respect to y and with together with this dx and dy. So, that is the uh, here dg the differential of g and now again the same definition for the differential of this one now we have this speaker function. So, del over del x of this function into d x and del over del y of this function and into this d y. So, now this what we have observed that this is a function of uh, function of y alone that we have already checked before that this is a function of y alone and its integral will be naturally again function of y alone. So, here when we take when we talk about the partial derivatives with respect to x. So, this term will be set to 0 and here then we have uh, uh, del over del y and this is the integral here with respect to y and then we are taking the derivative term. So, this will uh, remain only with this n del g over del y. So, this is a function of y alone therefore, this goes to 0 and then uh, we have uh, this uh, del g over del x dx del g over del y dy and from this one because this was the derivative of this integral. So, this integral and the differential will be removed and we will have n minus del g over del y multiplied by this dy. So, here we have n dy that will be one term. So, n dy the another term will be del g over del y into dy and now again. So, we have these two terms here they cancel out each other and then uh, we get this del g over del x dx plus n dy and this del g over del x is, is nothing but the m here del g over del x is nothing but m. So, this here is, is m. So, what we get m dx and here this plus n dy. So, m dx plus n dy this is what we want to show. So, this is the f here which solves the purpose here the differential of this f. So, there exists a f uh, once we assume that this uh, condition uh, holds 
that necessary in sufficient condition that holds. So, the, uh, we can construct such a f whose uh, differential is exactly equal to this m d x plus n d y. So, we have seen now that uh, this necessary and sufficient condition for uh, the differential equation m d x plus n d y to be exact is that del m over del y must be equal to del n over del x. So, we need to check this condition for the exactness and once we know that the equation is exact then we have to construct this f somehow whose differential is uh, the, the, the given uh, differential equation m d x plus n d y. And if it is not exact then we have to find some other way uh, to, to get the solution of the differential equation. Well, so uh, just a remark here the solution of the exact differential equation this m d x plus n d y. So, once we know that the equation is exact that means this d f is equal to 0 uh, because there is a function f whose differential is this m d x plus n d y. So, meaning this d f is equal to 0 and the solution then we can write down in terms of f that f is a constant because the differential of this function is 0. So, this function must be constant. Uh, can be uh, equal to the constant here. So, f is equal to c from this equation d f is equal to 0 we are getting that f is equal to c. So, that is the relation we are looking for and this is the solution uh, of this differential equation uh, f is equal to c this is the, the solution of this exact differential equation. So, just to, to note again that this was the f uh, as per our construction the integral of this m d x was one term and then we have also this integral term this is f which we have just constructed before. So, this is our, our sorry here this is our f here and uh, we have constructed this uh, theoretically and what uh, else we can actually get out of this we have also noticed or we have uh, shown there that if this equation is exact then this n minus del g over del y is a function of y only. And then there is a direct trick also used in several textbooks. So, here we can write down directly for the given differential equation the solution once we know that the uh, differential equation is exact. So, here the integral of m dx m is given. So, we can find out the integral of m dx. In this for the second part because this is little bit complicated here to evaluate we have to find set up the g first and partial derivative and n minus. So, the direct trick is which uh, comes exactly from here itself that we know that this is a function of y alone. So, what we take from this n because n minus this something we have to remove it so that this becomes a function of y alone. So, the terms of n if we take here containing uh, not containing x meaning the terms of this n which contains only the y. So, there should not be x here. So, only the terms of y if we take from n and then this integrate here that is exactly the solution of the given differential equation. So, we will see in the example also that one can use this direct trick as well but there is no need because once we know that the equation is exact we have to just find a function whose differential is this and there is a, another systematic approach which 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 works uh, to get this f here. So, we do not have to use this uh, this direct formula in, in that case. Okay, so, let us go through the example here we take this x square minus 4 x y minus 2 y square d x and plus this y square minus 4 x y minus 2 x square d y is equal to 0. So, the m the, the first part here is m the x square minus 4 x y and uh, minus 2 y square and the second part here is n. So, we have this m and n in the given differential equation first what we have to check whether the equation is exact or not meaning that we have to compute uh, del m over del y. So, del m over del y will be minus 4 x and minus 4 y from here and this del n over del x will be uh, minus 4 y and minus 4 x. So, both are same uh, del m over del y and del n over del x and that is uh, precisely the condition for, for exactness. So, the given equation is exact. 
So, we know that there exist a function f whose differential is exactly given here this m d x plus n d y. And now, how to construct this f? So, the, the trick is here that we know that d f is equal to this one. So, we know the formula for the differential of this function f is, is del f over del x d x plus del f over del y that is the differential of this f. And this must be equal to this uh, given uh, m d x uh, n t y. So, here we can have the relations of this f to this m and, and f to this n. So, we have uh, here the del f over del f partial derivative of this f with respect to s must be equal to this m meaning this x square minus 4 x y minus 2 y square and the partial derivative of this f with respect to y uh, must be equal to the n which is y square uh, minus 4 x y minus 2 x square. So, we have these two relations now with uh, del f over del x given by this function del f over del y is given with this function. So, now from these two equations we have to exactly find what is the f whose partial derivative with respect to x is given by this partial derivative with respect to f y uh, given by this. So, here if we integrate this with respect to x this first equation what will happen we will get this f as x cube by 3 from here we will get uh, minus 4 y and this x square by 2. So, here minus 2 x square y and here we will get minus uh, 2 y square and the x will come when we integrate it. So, this is the integral and that this is a constant of integration which in this case because this was the partial derivative with respect to x. So, that can be a, a, a more general constant here could be a function of y itself. So, we have integrated this del f over del x uh, here to get this f, but there is a this c 1 y is coming into the picture and uh, we have not used yet the another equation. So, now from this f here from this given f which we have got by integrating with respect to x we will differentiate now with respect to uh, x. So, with respect to y and then we will equate uh, to this given uh, partial derivative. So, on differentiation with respect to y what we will get here uh, this term is x alone. So, this will be 0 here with respect to y. So, we will get minus 2 x square and here with respect to y. So, we will get minus 4 x y and the c 1 y uh, also here the derivative will come. So, this is equal to the y square uh, minus this 4 x y minus 2 x square that is given already here that the partial derivative with respect to y must be equal to this. So, out of this now here we can actually get this constant term easily this uh, c 1 prime because that is a derivative uh, when we have differentiated this here. So, we got the derivative also. So, what we, we see here that minus 2 x square uh, uh, lies both the sides here and minus 4 x y is also there. So, what we get we get that c 1 uh, prime y is equal to y square. So, we get this condition that the derivative of this c 1 with respect to y is uh, y square and now we can integrate this one. So, we get c 1 y is equal to y cube by 3 and a constant here. So, meaning once we get the c 1 we get basically this f. So, f is nothing but x cube by 3 minus 2 x square y minus 2 x y square and then we need to add the c 1 there y cube by 3 and plus a constant an arbitrary constant there now. So, once we have f we can write down the solution as f is equal to constant. So, the solution will be f is equal to some constant c 3 we have named it because c 2 we have used already. So, c 3 and that means now this is our f uh, by substituting the c 1 here in this equation in this f equation here. So, this is uh, f here and with c 2 is equal to the c 3. Now, this c 2 and c 3 they are the two different arbitrary constants, but we can merge into one and uh, meaning that uh, this is the solution of the equation. Indeed, we have multiplied by the equation 
uh, this by 3 here. So, to get x 3 minus 2 x square uh, minus 6 x square y and also this minus 2 x y square uh, multiplied by 3 again. So, that would be also 6 x y square and uh, plus uh, this y square uh, when multiplied by 3 and the c 3 minus c 2 we have uh, taken another constant here with multiplication by this 3. So, that is the solution of this uh, differential uh, equation which we have considered. So, once the equation is exact the process exactly follows what we have uh, taken here we need to equate this del f over del x is equal to m and del f over del y is equal to n and from there we just integrate this then differentiate and equate equal to the given uh, derivative from there we will get this c 1 uh, prime y which again on integration we will get uh, c 1 by substituting the c 1 we got f and then we can write down the solution of the given differential equation. Now, the question is if we uh, follow the same process here when the equation is not exact then at what point we will uh, get the problem or where, where we will be stuck and, uh, and where we will realize that such f does not exist. So, if by mistake uh, okay, before we go to that point here using that direct approach which we have uh, written down before that we have a direct formula as well. So, this is the given differential equation and uh, the solution we can also write down directly in this uh, way that integral m dx and this uh, terms of n not containing x and dy. So, here this m uh, given in the differential equation and then the terms of this n not containing the x that is only the y square term. So, we have y square dy is equal to the c and uh, on this integration we got exactly the same solution which we have obtained before. So, this was uh, one can use this formula to get the solution of uh, exact differential equation and now what we will now get back to the discussion which I have initiated just before that if the equation is not exact. So, for instance we will consider this equation and we will first see that this equation is not exact and uh, hence it cannot be solved as the method uh, discussed above. And um, the main point is we will see that where we will get the problem now if we assume that okay, this is the differential of some function f then exactly at what point we will realize that the equation is not exact. If for instance we did not check the condition here for the exactness and just proceed to to get a f whose differential is given differential equation then what will happen. So, just to check here del m over del y is equal to del n over del x this is not the case. So, they are not equal and then uh, so the given equation is not uh, exact differential equation, but we will now proceed exactly uh, how we have done before that means this del f over del x we will take 3 x y plus y square and this del f over del uh, y as x square plus x y. So, with these two conditions we will now def, uh, integrate this one with respect to this x here. So, f is equal to 3 and this x square by 2 y and this x y square and c 1 y. So, just on integration of this we got this uh, function and then we can differentiate this with respect to y and can equate to this one. So, once we differentiate here with respect to y. So, we will get 3 by 2 x square here 2 y x and then c 1 derivative y. And now we equate to this x square plus x y. Now, on equating this one last time uh, if, we, if you remember we got the c 1 uh, prime y as a function of y and then we integrated and we got the differential equation. So, this is uh, c 1 prime y the partial derivative uh, the, the derivative of the c 1 with respect to y the ordinary derivative of c 1 with respect to uh, y there is only uh, this is a function of y only. So, the function of y only, but when we equate here what are we getting now c 1 y is equal to this minus x square minus x y. So, there is a contradiction on the left hand side we are telling that this is a function of y the right hand side we are also getting uh, x in this equation. While in the previous one when the equation is exact we will never get this uh, as a function of x here we will get only y terms. So, here this depends on x and y 
and uh, we cannot solve this equation because this is inconsistent now. Here we are talking about this uh, left hand side uh, is telling that this is everything function of y and the right hand side we are uh, we are having the function of x and y. So, naturally we cannot solve uh, because this is inconsistent equation and uh, hence we cannot find such a f whose differential is the given differential equation. So, this was just to demonstrate that if by mistake without checking the exactness we proceed here we try to find such a f whose differential is this given a differential equation then we will stuck exactly at this point where we cannot proceed further and hence such a f does not exist. So, the conclusion is that the necessary and the sufficient conditions for uh, the differential equation to be exact is uh, del m over del y is equal to del n over del x and once we know that the equation is exact then we can find a f whose differential is this uh, m dx plus n dy and then we can write down the solution as f is equal to uh, some constant. So, that is the process for finding the solution checking the exactness of the differential equation and uh, in the next lecture we will continue if uh, the uh, given differential equation is not exact then what method we should uh, process to get this uh, solution. These are the references used here and thank you for your attention.